Hello everyone, we are Swag Vintage AZ, just a sneak peek of our Etsy.com shop. We've got a lot of inventory still available. We're also on Instagram if you want to keep up on just kind of the latest things we're up to. And then if you're in the Phoenix area, we are at the Brass Armadillo on I-17 and Cactus Road, booth P2 in the parlor. And here we are at one of my favorite Goodwills, and I found this Levi's jacket. Now, it's pricey. It was $28. I mean, pricey for a Goodwill, right? This is a newer issue, but I thought perhaps I could wear this or I had a cousin who was in the market for like a longer, bigger Levi's jean jacket. So I went ahead and threw it in the cart. Sadly, at a size small, my big long arms didn't fit it. So it's currently in the booth. I still was able to mark it up just a little bit because they retail for 100 and they're no longer available. So I have a $45 price tag on it. This beauty, I call these Pizza Hut lamps because at, I don't know if anyone else like remembers this, but at Pizza Hut, they had these over every booth. So any stained glass swag lamp is a Pizza Hut lamp. This one was $17.50, an absolute beauty. I was going to pick it up, but then I found that crack on the bottom and had to leave it. So sad. Into the furniture. Hello. We have some late mid-century fold-up chairs with the caning. And these had teal seats. And I'm taking a look underneath to see the mechanism to make sure that they're fold-up chairs. There were also these three with the black seats. Now I gave all of these a really thorough inspection and sadly the teal seated ones had some condition issues. Oh look, 1969, had some condition issues in the caning. So, and then there was one of the black topped seats that was really rickety. So I ended up grabbing just, there I go, shaking it, just two for resale and those are currently in the booth. They were only $6.80, it looks like, and all in pretty good condition. So I was happy to find those. These two chairs I absolutely loved. I thought, oh, we could put them in our living room and do a little upgrade from the chairs we have now. But I was overruled by the spouse. And I think he was right. They weren't real leather and they were looking a little worn so we left those for someone else to pick up this i'm just admiring because i love these older coffee tables that are super heavy and large i think they would make super cool tv stands so that one was 25 bucks so pretty great deal for whoever got to pick that up into the art i found this beautiful mirror but i think i passed on it because of the wood frame if it had a brass frame i'd probably go for it and give it a try in the booth but we passed on it that day here in the afghans pretty decent selection however i have one two three afghans that have not yet sold this one was a little too pilly for me so left that behind and then as i was searching this one popped out at me it's a really nice one um it felt a little dingy though so I left it again mostly because I have a few in my inventory um, demonstrating the sniff test which I'm totally faking I'm just shoving it up into the camera but just want to remember that all fabrics and things I usually give a sniff test to and then finally there was this one which was another nice one uh, if only it were July I think I would pop that in the booth no questions asked However, I just have a few in my inventory, and though these were pretty good, uh, none of them were like, I don't know, super amazing, right? So we left them behind. Then we are moving on to the hard goods, and I saw this little piece of Tonala pottery. It is signed, and I ended up keeping this one for myself. At $3.50, it was a little pricey for resale but i use it in my bathroom to hold little trinkets and then here's another signed tonala piece very nice little fishy for just a dollar fifty so that was a definite yes i love its little catfish face there was a little bit of wear on the bottom fin but it was so subtle and it wasn't a chip it i think it's just from resting 
on a tabletop. So I went ahead and threw that one in the cart. You'll see there are a couple bandanas that I picked up as well, and those are just for me to keep because I use bandanas all the time. Here's some art glass vegetable pieces. I'm wondering, are these sellers? Let me know in the comments. I mean, are, is there a place for these in the resale market? I haven't really looked into it, but I do see them from time to time. And then I thought this was adorable, this little tourist piece for the Colosseum in Rome. It looked contemporary, it was $1.50, so I just didn't really think there was a, a lot of potential there. And then here is a wonderful looking vase. However, one of its pieces was missing. I thought it was just a really cool, unique piece, but had to leave it behind due to the damage. And here's a pewter fish, lightweight a vintage dish. I just sold a green one of those, but clear glass is not a huge seller, so I let that one go. And then, do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, yes. This is a bucket list item, everybody. I mean, look at that. It is the highly coveted Lucite Grape Bunch in amber. I'm so pumped, yes. So that was a very exciting find. Here's a little piggy made out of resin, very heavy, uh, cute face, but I left that one behind. I think it had a price tag of $5. I don't think I could get more than seven, eight for it at the booth, so we had to leave that one. And then this a sad, tragic piece with all these broken ends. They still wanted $4.50 for it. Maybe there's a creative person who could do something with it, but too bad, so sad. And then this I was curious about, a metal feather piece, left that one behind. And continuing to sift through all of these, cute little camel, maybe? And lovely, beautiful clear glass, pressed glass ashtray, but I have several of those for sale and they are not selling, so I had to leave that. This was a nice piece of dripware, looking vintage, but with the chips, I left that looked at these little fishies briefly nice colors on them but i left that one behind not really distinctly vintage and not really in my in it doesn't really match my vibe i guess and a bunny i always look at all the animals because animals are good sellers for me at the booth here back around <laughs> these interesting roosters i liked their feet but the paint job was pretty clumsy this I'm just picking up because it's so, um, I don't know, disturbing. I guess it's a wine wine bottle holder, but what? Oh, no, 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 no. All right. A nice vintage piece, but for $4.50, no way. I mean, if it was $1.50, maybe I would have picked it up, but I don't think so. Then we're moving along. I thought this was vintage, like, you know, whales on a rock, but actually it was a fake rock and some plastic whales. So not what I expected and pretty low quality. Doing a quick scan here. What am I going to pick up next? I don't think I'm picking up anything here. Are we going to cut to? No. Oh, I see something. Oh, it was a boat, but that was plastic. I thought for a split second, it might be brass. Nice glass bowl here bird with open wings but not quite compelling enough for me so I set that one back of course I'm going to pick up these grapes just because I was wishful and hopeful that I don't know I could find another vintage grape thing and those may have been vintage but they were made out of some kind of cardboard composite paper you know painted and certainly not not anything close to those lucite grapes that I picked up which I still can't believe here we are in the glassware. Honorable mention for this set. This is a tawny kind of squeezed center glass. And that is actually the set that I have at home and I love them very, very much. So I do come across them relatively frequently. So it's nice because I can always get a replacement and I do have some for sale right now in that style. Here is an interesting item. This looks like maybe some kind of hairbrush. And at $349, I couldn't justify picking it up, but it was interesting to look at nonetheless. And here we are in the dishware. 
I spy these beautiful plates and we're gonna see this pattern throughout the store. I probably could have got a complete set here. There was no marking on it, so I didn't know what it was, but I loved it. It was in a mint green and brown and I considered it for myself because right now I'm not picking up dishware for resale. There were some condition issues, but throughout the store, these pieces were littered everywhere. And I just thought they were really cool. But again, some condition issues with all of them. I'm on the search, oh, real pause real quick. So this is the King's Crown pattern, but condition issues on the lip of those with the colors. So I left those behind, but I am on the search for a new full set of vintage dishware to replace at home. So those brown and light mint green were kind of a consideration for a split second, but had to leave them. Here's a nice cheese board um, with the glass dome, which is pretty great, but I didn't think the tile, oh, there it is again. I didn't think the tile inside was anything to write home about, so I left that one. Here we are. And this looks like, certainly vintage amber glass, looks like a piece to a light fixture with the hobnail treatment and the ruffle, but no real use for it, so I left that one. Here we are looking in odds and ends, and I see this very interesting puka shell vase. I've not really seen anything like it. At $7.50, that's really pricey, but I thought it was such a unique piece. I just couldn't resist it. It's in the booth now, and I thought it was just a one of a kind. Um, I see a lot of puka shell stuff, but that one with all of its intricate ruffle and uh, angles, I thought mm, someone might pick that one up. Here we go into the candles. And this is a nice little candle holder made out of a heavy stone marble. And though it had some wax, that's pretty easy to pluck off. So I went ahead and picked that up. And now I'm just searching for its mate, but sadly I did not find it. So it'll just be a solo piece. At $1.50, I can sell that maybe for six or $7. And the, that's how I inch my way to paying the rent and earning a profit. This was a nice piece. However, I have a set of uh, Indian carved wood trivets in my shop right now. So I don't need another one until that one sells. Nice hand, hand painted platter there that I passed by. And then these were certainly vintage. I don't know what they would be used for at $3.49 each, and there were two of them. I went ahead and put them in the cart, but they did not survive my final sanity check. Let me know in the comments what these are used for. Did I make a mistake putting those back ultimately? I'm unsure, but here I am clumsily putting them in the cart, hoping that they don't hurt anything. These were just a couple clear glass pieces that I picked up for my propagating. However, I ended up putting those back too. So I guess this whole segment is about the things you put in your cart and uh, the things you end up putting back before you head to the register. Always important to do that sanity check. Here's a cute little carved wood horse head, but it had a broken ear, so I had to leave it. And then here is a fireplace puffer thing. Anybody know the correct name for that? This one was in really great shape, really pretty carving on the side. All of the wood grommets in place with a nice sticker. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And this is now by my fireplace. Here's a little monkey pod wood bowl. Uh, love those, but that one was not too remarkable. And then this I thought was so pretty. Beautiful leaf shape, nice carvings on the inside and the outer edge. So I put a little wood oil on that and took it to the booth. And as I'm searching for more interesting wood things, not finding them, we move on. Here's a lovely carved wood giant spoon, and it's in kind of a tiki pattern, maybe. 
or Aztec, Mayan. So I'm looking for the matching fork here. And sadly, there is no matching fork. So I set that one back because I think a spoon alone isn't gonna cut it. Another wood dish, can't resist to look at these. This one in its blonde wood style, certainly contemporary. So I left that one. And then here, I loved these wood canisters with the, the shape of their handle was so cool. And I'm kind of regretting not picking those up because I should have like grabbed those and used them for my pantry, but I left them behind sadly. So, you know, putting these videos together, you get a lot of pangs of regret. This was a nice basket, but at 850, I don't think I could get much more for it, but a really well-made Southwest woven basket. A mask, you know my policy on masks, no thank you, they're too creepy. And here's a wood bowl I'm gonna pick up and look at because I can't resist. I liked the wood thickness, but did not like the painted. Oh, and here is the monkey pod wood. And this is my proof to the world, I am a good person. I put those two together and now someone can find them and get the pair. Hmm. Here I am in the lamps and I am searching. I shouldn't be looking because I've got plenty of lamps to sell. However, it is my favorite section. And as I'm looking over at, at the electric testing station, I found this beauty. I mean, absolutely stunning, really great price at $9.50, adorable little cherubs. I can't say I was a super big fan of the shade, but it is in a very pretty romantic style and fits so pretty and I left it because I have too many lamps to sell. Here we are in the pillows. I usually just glance at these but these were super cute and in a very vintage style. I don't think they're actually vintage because they were made in like kind of, they have like kind of a microfiber feel to them but I found one and then boom there's the other. So they are in the booth. They I did not put them at a expensive price. I got them for $2.50 and $3.50, but I thought someone who's decking out like maybe a 70s vibe would love those. Here are just a couple of extension cords. I always pick up extension cords when I find them. And this is kind of the final haul, everybody. Got some pillows, got some cords, got the chairs, of course, the grapes. I'm gonna talk about those for a while. That was such a great find. And thanks for being with me today. And thank you for all the likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys.